Okay, well, we'll just continue continuing on, I suppose, with our work blog works. I think I scheduled one extra work because our fashion has fallen behind our charisma again. <laughs> hey, girly, interested in our lottery today? Sure. All right, kiddos, this week's lucky winner is Steven, come on down. Oh, well, it was only a dollar. But when do I get to win some money? Come on, it's been so long since I've won some money. I got a real comment on my blog today from a real person. Whoa! I must be getting more popular. When real people start reading your stuff, you know you've made it. The 24. Soup. There we go. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, check mail. Father! Greetings, Earthling. I have begun my physical therapy and, whoa, it is painful. Today I tried to bend my knee 90 degrees. I could not, so they put pressure on it until I could. It hurt, but I got it. Maybe next time I can do it on my own. I hope so, Daddy-o. I hope so. <sighs> kinda have a feeling. I'm gonna try one more time, but I kinda have a feeling. Lloyd. Oh! I'm glad I tried one more time! Alright. Would you like to go somewhere this weekend? Sure! Where to? Let's go to the coffee shop. I'd like to go to Cafe Diem. Sounds perfect. See you there! I was gonna say, maybe I have to wait till I'm like, fully on his route before he'll accept. But I'm glad that's not the case. hey oh, Nice place! I didn't know it was here. Yeah, it's a little hidden if you don't spend a lot of time on campus. Ooh, a student cafe. That explains all the laptops in here. Well, I defer to your good judgment as a student. Okay. I'm trying to remember what I ordered when I was on John's friendship route, because I did figure it out. I think... I think he liked the sandwich, for sure. Um, a turkey and pesto sandwich, please? Please? Have I ever mentioned that I love how polite you are? I don't think it's come up before. Well, I do. Politeness is a lost art, and you are a genuine artist. Well, thank you. See what I mean? Aw, Lloyd. Well, thanks for taking me here. I wouldn't mind coming back again sometime. Sure thing. Thank you for joining me. Nice! We spent time with our boss at a coffee shop. Totally not weird. <laughs> not weird at all. Okay. Work. Blog. Town. Work. I think that's what we'll do. We'll have to fud up twice, because now we've got datos with Lloyd, or adventures with Lloyd, however you want to phrase it. Soup. Okay, that was good. Oh, come on, girl. Hey kids, it's the best time of the day. Lunch break! The crew members chat excitedly amongst each other as they head to the lunch area. Craft service workers have already set up a table of piping hot food for us. Hey, girly. Rachel runs up and throws an arm over my shoulder. Lunch? Oh, sure. Rachel guides me into the line for food. Sweet mercy, can I just kiss everyone who works in craft service? Today's spread is as extravagant as usual. Rack of lamb, grilled scallops, spinach and feta salad, and what appears to be a sasha torte. Rachel loads her plate with the sumptuous food before stopping at the dessert section. She ponders her options for a minute before shrugging and loading a second slice of cake onto another plate. Why not? I follow her down the line, helping myself to tiny portions of everything. As we sit down, Rachel eyes my plate. That's all? Um, yes. She rolls her eyes. Are you not hungry or are you just trying to be polite? Uh, um, thought so. She slides her second plate across the table towards me. I got this cake for you because I knew you wouldn't get it for yourself. Why? <laughs> she digs into her food. Let's just say I know your type. You're polite, which is great, but sometimes you're overly polite, which isn't great. What do you mean? I know you feel out of place here. I mean, I and the rest of the crew are local and we've been together for years. Actors and directors come and go, but we've done every show that's come through here. We're like family, and you're just... Not one of you. Yet, Rachel corrects me. 
You're not one of us yet. Rachel points at me with her plastic fork. And you never will be if you keep hiding like that. She polishes off her salad and digs into the scallops. Listen, I'm not saying you've got to be loud or butt into every conversation we have or try to pick up all our inside jokes, but you've got to believe you belong here. She indicates the tiny selection of food on my plate. Maybe you just don't eat much, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm guessing you feel like you're intruding if you take too much. This is your job, and the food is part of your pay. Embrace it. But I don't feel like I've done enough to deserve it. Then earn it. Work your hardest. When you're not working, do good things for people. Make friends. We give our all for this, and so should you. I nod numbly, but I can't think of anything to say. Rachel watches me carefully. What do you want to do with your life? What do I want to do? Well, I'm with Lloyd, so... I want to work in the industry. That's what I wanted to hear. And now that you've said it, I expect you to follow through. Give it your best, okay? I will. I can remember Jog's buying waves at us. Hey, Ray, we're back on set soon. Be right there. Rachel polishes off the last of her food and stands up. Coming? I smile and nod. Yeah, I'm coming. Thanks for the pep talk, Ray. Get that girl a sandwich. Get her a sandwich and some cake. Okay, I definitely needed that pho. Oh, we're so fatigued when we don't exercise. Barf. Sean, good to see you. You too. Where are you headed? To see Professor Meridia. We're going to finish writing the final exams for next week. Oh, right. Hey, at least you get a two-week vacation afterwards. I definitely can't complain about that. Anyway, I've got to get going. Of course. See you around. Good luck on your finals. Thanks, Alvin. You're sweetie, as always. It's so quiet around here. Hey, Lloyd. Okay, let's go to the coffee shop again. Hey, uh, what's on the menu for today? What should I order? The other thing was... I was trying to remember if it was the scones or the croissant. Because he likes one of the dessert things. It's the croissant, I'm pretty sure. Could you get a chocolate croissant? It would be my pleasure. Chocolate is one of my favorite things. Mine too. We have so much in common. So, how are you liking all the work? It's a lot to take in, but I enjoy working. Enjoy working? You're a rare breed. You're working all the time too, aren't you? Yeah, but that doesn't mean I'm the sort of person who loves the act of work. Don't confuse me with John now. The big secret is I'm really lazy, but my desire to create outweighs the laziness. I admire your fortitude. Just remember that as one of those who enjoy work, you still need to make time for breaks. John skipped meals before because he simply forgot. Oh, uh... You too, huh? If I'm not looking after one of you, I'm looking after the other. Remember to eat. Take care of yourself. I'll try. Ah, ah, ah! No trying. Just doing. Remember what Master Yoda say. said. Do or do not. There is no try. Okay, I will. Better. <laughs> Thanks, Lloyd. <laughs> oh, I'm glad we had this chat. Oh, okay. So what am I doing? I'm going to town for pho. And then I'm gonna work and a blog and a town and a work. Okay. We've almost caught up to our charisma again. Ah, <sighs> slow going though. Slow going with this stats. All right, Hitman Cavalt. I should still be good. Good work. Thank you, sir. My blog seems to be gaining traction. I earned seventeen dollars in ad revenue, and my popularity went up too. Good, 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 good. Oh man, Sean, no wonder fashion's taking forever when you keep failing. I know the person you're working on isn't as beautiful as like Matthew or John, but girl, you gotta get it together. Get it together, girl. That's better. Hooray. Dale. Got a winter fashion show in two weeks. We'd love to have you on board. Reply if you can make it. 
Um, according to, yeah, I sh there's nothing going on around Christmas with Lloyd, so I should be okay. Excellent. Bring your A game. Madeline will be there. Okay. But I'll, I've got money. I'll get some money from that, so that's alright. Lloyd. Hey. I'm gonna go to the coffee shop one more time, because I think this is the week before finals. Sometimes you get new dial. She talks about, oh, finals are coming up, and they're like, finals? What's that? So, we'll see. See if my theory is correct. Yeah. I got a sandwich today. There's that polite charm again. What would I do without you? So, what's up in your life? Ah, uh, here we go. Finals are coming up. I'm a little nervous. About what? How bad all your classmates will feel when you throw them off the curve? How bad all your classmates will feel when throw off the curve? What? <laughs> you really know how to instill confidence. Of course! A good leader has to make sure everyone on the team believes in themselves. Sounds like a tough job. The trick is to find amazing people, but you don't have to lie to them about how amazing they are. I'll keep that in mind. Aw, oh, Lloyd! And this week has been nothing but finals. I'm just glad to see the results are up so quickly. Whew, I managed to pass all the finals and with decent grades if I do say so myself. Good job, girl. Killing it. Got another hotel job next Friday. Write me back if you can make it. I'll be there. Fashion. The Divide just got their new line of winter clothes in. I'm so excited. Finally, I've been wanting to get my hands on those cute knee-high boots for so long. Winter doesn't start until next week, but it couldn't hurt to do some advanced shopping. I'll do that during the week. What's my status for fatigue? 10? That's... He's okay. Alright, we're gonna go to the VG zone now. Is VG zone okay with you? Sounds perfect. See you there. Okay. Oh, look at all the bright flashing lights. Do you play arcade games often? It's never been my thing, but I'm always up for trying something new. Is there any particular game that calls to you? Maybe you should decide. Okay. And Benito didn't say anything. Um, I have a feeling that Lloyd would be up for zombie hunting with me. How about Zombie Hunter 3? Ooh, zombies! I've always wanted to make a zombie movie. Lloyd grabs a gun and strikes a pose. Shoot me again. You best pray I'm dead. Dramatic. I do my best! The game starts off and up and I immediately set to work picking off any zombie that approaches us. Lloyd, on the other hand, takes his time, posing dramatically after each kill to spew out another quote. As we near the end, a zombie leaps at him and his shot misses. I got gotcha. you. I fire off a single shot and the zombie flickers from the screen. Close one! You've got to be faster than that. Zombies aren't impressed by your knowledge of pop culture. And this is why I'm not a zombie slayer. Well, that was fun. Makes me feel like a kid again. Again? Still. Thanks for the invite, little wizard. I had a great time. Aww. <laughs> Again? What you smoking, Lloyd? Come on, we all know you're still a kid inside. Deep down inside, we all know. Uh, as ridiculous as this is, I'm not gonna get much done this week, really, but... Sometimes you gotta shop. You know? Sometimes you just gotta shop. And the mall. The atmosphere of the mall has changed a little. Everywhere I look, signs advertise holiday savings. In the center of the mall sits a small cabin with a quaint fireplace. Outside the cabin, a banner reads, Winter Wonderland. Come meet Santa! Get your picture taken! Nicole stands outside the cabin, dressed in an overly bright green dress and a pointed cap. She is currently handing out flyers to anyone who will accept one. Every time she moves, I can hear the merry jingling of bells. As I near her, I notice she's wearing a set of green felt shoes, also adorned with bells. It's probably the least flattering outfit I've seen in a long time. Sean! Nicole, I didn't know you were one of Santa's little helpers. Emphasis on little. Nicole rolls her eyes. 
I think I only got the gig because they needed someone who fit into this terrible excuse for an elf outfit. Aw. At least you have work. That's something to take comfort in, right? Huh. I suppose I can't afford to be picky. Everyone thinks being an actress is a glamorous job, Sean. Don't buy into the lie. Trust me, I have no intention of trying to get into acting. It's really not my thing. Nicole frowns. Sometimes I wonder if it's mine. Come meet Santa! Get your picture taken! A family of four passes by and Nicole immediately snaps back into cheerful mode. The youngest child looks up at his parents expectantly. The parents smile awkwardly and shake their heads, but their teenage son has other ideas. He approaches Nicole with a smug grin on his face. This guy's the worst. How about I be Santa and you sit on my lap instead? Nicole maintains her perfect smile. Sorry, sir, but the photo opportunity is only for people ages 12 and under. Aw, oh, come on. I'm sure you can be naughty just this once. Nicole's smile doesn't fade as she replies. Only paying customers are allowed inside Winter Wonderland. Please leave or I will ask Mall Security to escort you from the premises. The boy glares at her and mutters something under his breath about Nicole being uptight. Nicole blithely ignores him and turns her attention back to me. Sometimes I wish I could just punch every idiot in the face. If everyone got punched in the face for doing something stupid, I think all of us would have black eyes. Huh, that might be an acceptable trade. That bad? Does this happen a lot? Often enough. I'm sure you get plenty too. Not really. Then count yourself lucky. Nicole, are you chatting with friends on the job? A man in a dress shirt and tie approaches us quickly. The badge on his shirt indicates he's a manager. Not at all, sir. Just trying to recruit more workers for you. The manager eyes me for a split second before shaking his head. Don't bother. She doesn't have the right look. If you say so, sir. The manager stalks off and Nicole offers an apologetic smile. Sorry, I probably shouldn't be chatting with you. That's fine. I don't want to get you in trouble. See you around, Sean. Yeah, see you later. To the clothing store. Oh dear. Hmm. Well. What is this? Hey. <laughs> I really do like these though. I'm gonna do that with that and that this time. But I can't change yet. It's still warm enough for me to wear this outfit apparently. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it. I head to John's makeup trailer and set up my workspace. John enters with a bottle of water in one hand and a script in the other. He seems completely engrossed in the script and doesn't seem to realize I'm even here. As John raises the water bottle to his lips, he walks right into me. Ho! Oh. He sputters and drops the bottle. I grab it before it can spill everywhere. <coughs> John hunches over and pounds his chest with his fist a few times as he tries to clear the water from his throat. Sean, <coughs> I didn't see you there. <coughs> I guess that already. Are you okay? <clears throat> John clears his throat a few more times and nods. Nothing wounded, save my pride. Your pride? He offers a rueful smile but doesn't make eye contact. Walking into someone, then spitting water all over her isn't exactly what I'd label graceful. Yeah, well, no harm done. I set the water bottle down on the table. He nods, but still refuses to look me in the eyes. He glances around the room a few times before sitting down. Right, well. Wow, John Brandon is flustered. Never thought I'd live to see the day. His usual cool demeanor is gone, and it looks like he's having trouble composing himself. It's okay, old boo. I won't bother you. Well, let's get to work then, shall we? I would be much obliged. John looks relieved at the change in topic. I lay the prosthetic scar on his face and carefully glue it down, smoothing the edges out as I go. John holds perfectly still. His face a picture of calm serenity, but if the temperature of his cheeks is any indicator, he's still a little embarrassed. I work in silence, carefully painting and blending the scar until it looks natural. It only takes a few minutes to finish the rest of his makeup. All done. Thank you. He opens his eyes, stands, and heads for the door. Uh... He glances over his shoulder. Is something wrong? No, um... It's just usually you tease me or say something really sarcastic right about now. And... Do you want me to tease you? 
Not particularly. I just didn't expect you to be in such a rush. Ugh. John hangs his head. I apologize. For being in a rush? For running into you and nearly dousing you with water. Oh, right. Um, no worries. You're forgiven already. John looks relieved. Then go work your magic somewhere else, little wizard. <laughs> Will do. About 24. Okay. Hey. Thanks for your work today. No problem. Same time next week? Not this time, sadly. Oh, are you taking Christmas off? The opposite of that, actually. The arcade wants me to work late for Christmas. What? Why? We're right next door to a family resort hotel. The place fills up on the holidays, so it's big money. I see. However, I did manage to get Christmas Eve off. I was planning on spending the day alone in my apartment with a bucket of fried chicken. But if you want to just hang somewhere, that would be great. Sorry, I'm afraid I've got work on that day already. Figures. Well, whatever it is, I'm sure you'll be great. Thanks, Benito. Hey, uh, Christmas is coming up. Want to go shopping for gifts? Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Adam flits from one store to the next, barely stopping to look at anything. This is your idea of shopping? Hey, I gotta see all my options first. I'm not sure you're actually seeing anything. Not true. That store has clothing, and that one has books, and that one has... things. Things? It's a technical term. You might not be familiar with it. Well, it's such a good thing you're here to explain it to me. Happy to help. So have you decided who you're shopping for? Well, you, of course. And your parents. Oh, and my parents. Do you think I should get something for John? It would be polite. But John's kind of rich, yeah? What could I give him that he doesn't already have? Why not some sort of novelty from back home? Like Kona Coffee? At risk of sounding like I'm stereotyping, I'm pretty sure he said he prefers tea. Point. So, like a lay or something? He'd probably appreciate something useful. Blah. Gift giving is complicated. Yes. Yes, it is. I'm gonna need more time for this. You go on ahead. Okay. Good luck. I better head to the bookstore to see if they have any good gifts. Uh, none of these that I need. Maybe I'll just get that and leave. Or should I just... These all reduce stress. One weekend I'm going to be like super needy for stress stuff, so I'll just... I have them now. And winter starts today. Better check my wardrobe to make sure I'm wearing the right clothing. Okay, put on your pants first, girl. And then some shoes. And then that. Really? I don't really like that jacket with these boots. I might have to go back to the mall and get some black boots. <laughs> but I like the scarf. Oh well, I'm never gonna look at my shoes again anyway, am I? It's fine. I'm classy looking. <laughs> but man, those boots do not go at all. Ugh, that was unfortunate. I guess they kinda go with the buttons on the jacket, but... the What was my fatigue? Three. Not even paying attention to anything. Okay. Lloyd, do you want to go to the VG zone? Hey, nice jacket. Right then, where to? I think this would be incredibly boring for him. While he has the energy, I don't think he has the uh, concentration to focus on dance dance, so let's try some driving. Now this is a game I can get behind. Nice. Lloyd leaps into the first seat and grabs the plastic steering wheel. You coming or what? Uh-oh, did I just seal my doom? No. <laughs> did you and John, like, drive all the time? Good grief. Lloyd's car shoots from the starting line before I can even get mine fully revved up. Predictably, he wins the race handily. Fine, you win. How are you so good at this? Lots of hours alone with the home edition. I was not the most popular of kids in school. You could have fooled me. I know, right? Hard to imagine me ever being unpopular. 
<laughs> oh lloyd well that was fun makes me feel like a kid again again still thanks for the invite little wizard i had a great time that's good <laughs> oh lloyd all right and i can do whatever i want this week because christmas will de-stress me so let's do that work blog work blog work blog work We can do it if we believe we didn't believe in the coffee or our skills. Okay, we'll just fail the entire week. Traffic is still low on my blog, but it looks like I have a couple regular visitors now. Nice. Nice. You did some good stuff today, Sean. Yay. How come when your fatigue goes up, you do better? <laughs> Girl. Well, it's time to get ready for the winter fashion shoot with Dale and Matthew. Since tomorrow's Christmas, it might be nice to bring some gifts, but I'm not in Matthew's route, so I'm going to leave that alone. It might be weird. Better get changed into my work clothes. Good afternoon, Dale. Good to see you, Sean. Miss Gooden, I'm here to discuss the shoot with you. Of course. Happy to oblige. We're advertising a new winter-themed fragrance. If you could come up with something kind of fancy and different, we'd appreciate it. He means elegant and set apart. Of course. Matthew's waiting for you in the back. I head back and find Matthew waiting in his usual spot. Sean, I hoped it would be you. Aw, you flatter me. I'm happy to work with you too. And I see what your mother meant by set apart. Not exactly clothing you can grab off the nearest rack. I trust you'll come up with something that matches. Wow, he doesn't even seem phased by what he's wearing. I open my case and dig through my brushes. This'll be fun. I haven't tried something like this in a while. I pull out my narrowest brush and position myself next to Matthew. Uh, take your hat off. I don't want it to get in the way. Matthew obliges and I lean over him to apply a design on his face. He closes his eyes and waits calmly. You're a dream compared to the last time I did this. Mm. Matthew responds with a little more than a grunt, careful not to move while I work on him. I had a very brief run doing face painting at a festival back home. Kids don't like to sit still. Mm. I think that response means he's amused. Plus, face painting is a very different discipline. I was pretty out of my depth. Mm. That most likely meant I see. Here we go. And done. Matthew stands and I take in the full effect of his wardrobe and makeup. There it is, in all its glory. <laughs> you look good. Was there ever doubt? Well, painting isn't my strongest suit. I admire anyone who can do it well. Me too. You like painting? Painters. Although I've always wanted to try it myself. Why haven't you? Oh, I haven't really had the chance to. Are you finished? Yes. Then get going. Yes. Sorry for the wait. Matthew strides off after Madeline, and Dale immediately starts to shoot. I begin tidying up the back room, but Dale keeps it in good condition, so there's very little to do. I can hear the sound of the session wrapping up and Matthew leaving to change out of his outfit. Thank you for your work today. Always a pleasure. I hope to see you again. Yep, see you around. And I earn $300 day. Excellent. Christmas morning. I think I'm going to spend my morning sleeping in and enjoying myself. It's Christmas afternoon. Should I stop by Adam's room and give him a gift? I didn't get him a gift. He probably would have mentioned it, which he did, but that's okay. Maybe next time I'll switch the birthday and Christmas stuff. Hey, just wanted to say I like your blog. I think I've seen you around campus and it's cool that you're doing this. Vivian. Thank you, Vivian. No fatigue. That's what I like to see on my weekends. Hey, do you want to go somewhere? To the coffee shop? Hey, uh, what's on the menu for today? Croissant. Could you get a chocolate croissant? I hope you don't mind if I steal a bite from you. You may have as much as you like. Or your own. So how are things? Ha. <laughs> Trying my best to shut out another idea I've got brewing. What? That's the curse of the creative mind. You're not even finished with one thing, and you already have a great idea for the next one. 
Vice Versus has been brewing in my mind for six years. And now I'm suddenly thinking about a kid with psychic powers who lives in an underwater train. Why an underwater train? Because it sounds cool. Who knows? By the time I'm done, it'll be a teenager vampire who likes to solve mysteries. These things change a lot from their original form. <laughs> sounds good though, either way. But no matter what I'm working on, the next project is already growing inside my mind. It's a never-ending cycle. It sounds kind of fun. I don't deny it, but it's certainly distracting when I'm trying to focus on making the current project a good one. Understandable, Lloyd. That's why it's the curse. And now I've got this weekend, this, this weekend, this week off, so I gotta fill it with things. Let's figure out why.